General Hospital Spoiler for Wednesday, April 24, we take Maxi Johns will fight Sasha Gilmore question and difficult. Sasha and Cody Bell are pretty much the matchmaker for Maxi and Jamie's finale relationship, but Sasha was almost disappointed when the couple relationship continuously ran into trouble. Maxi feels like she can't completely trust finale yet. Having experienced so many flowers and love, Maxi almost looks fake in love and wanted to live alone. However, having another person to help and worry about financial issues will make Maxi feel like Tara. Speaking of Spinelli, Tracy Quarterman will also be Spinelli emotional advisor at the present time. Tracy advises Spinelli to be a little about Tara so he can win Maxi's heart. The fault here is not about Spinelli getting too close to Maxi because Maxi tends to get scared whatever Spinelli talks too much about love. Instead, Spinelli do more to prove that Spinelli really wants to become a couple with Maxi. Brooklyn's quarterman, Patrick Red Parties at the Savoy, will also be attended by many people. Willow Corinto, a little shy when she's a beer at the party, so Brooklyn pays special attention to Willow. To ease the tension, Brooklyn will take Willow to the center of the party and have fun with the others. Willis and Willow will also be keeping an eye on Jocelyn Jacks and Jocelyn just came face to face with Christina Corinto David. Jocelyn is chatting with Trina Robinson but quickly gets angry when she sees Christina. Christina is almost always protective of Sonny Corinto no matter what happened. Christina support her biological father and never likes it when others speak ill of her biological father. Jocelyn will voice her own opinion when it's come to Sonny. Jocelyn argued that Sonny had done too many evil things and should be punished by the law. Jocelyn also tell Christina how badly Sonny treated Dex Howler. Christina wouldn't want to hear those things. Christina almost forced Jocelyn to shut up. That made the argument more intense, to the point where there could have been a physical confrontation between the two. Christina is ready to throw the glass she is holding in Jocelyn's face, but Jocelyn will avoid it. The two then rushed at each other with the intention of injuring the others. Many people would try to stop it, but they were probably fell before the rest of Christina and Jocelyn. At the incubation school, Harris and Chase Pekiller party is also taking place. And at event, Curtis Asford, Drew Ken, Michael Corinth, and many others will share in the phone with Chase. After that, Chase will also receive a surprise guest. Many speculate that it is someone from the past and that person had just returned to town. Or it could have been Jordan Asford and Jordan was in Chase's previous guest. Regardless of who that guest is, Chase was to be surprised. Curtis has a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with Jordan, where Curtis talk about Curtis' readiness to participate in the Aurora project with Drew. Of course, Curtis did not lose confidence when undertaking this project. Jordan is happy that Curtis is trying to pursue her dream. Jordan encourages Curtis to be stronger. Jordan and Drew will then have some new interaction. Perhaps Drew wants to flirt with Jordan. Eventually, Sonny will show up and ruin the party. Maybe Sonny has finally learned that Dick is trying to become a cop. Dan Dick O'Connery will do everything he can to stop Sonny's rampage. After which things temporarily calm down, but Dan Dick also warns Dex to prepare himself for the worlds that choose because Jax used to be a mock person in the past. Most people at the BCB do despise Jax because of this. In addition, Dante is not sure whether Sonny secretly carried out another attack on Jax or not.